So we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay. Nine of Swords reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Okay, this could be read one of three ways. Um, I'll keep pulling cards so I can narrow down the message, but they might be seeing you as being a bit cold, a bit turned off by them, especially if you've had an argument or a falling out. They may have been worried about this quite a bit recently. If that's not your story, if there's not been a falling out, they're dealing with someone who has been stressing them out and they're saying, you know what, I, I'm going to be more positive about this. I have hope that either this situation can be resolved or that I'm going to get away from this person. Some of you might be saying, actually, it's my person. They've been cold. They've been a little bit um, uh, bratty or a bit... Um I'm hearing highly strong, so I don't know if maybe you said something, they took it the wrong way, they freaked out. But either way, yeah, this energy is being released. They're hoping to, you know, bring in a sense of healing here, um, a sense of balance, to restore balance. With the star, we have Aquarius energy. Yes, absolutely. Three of Wands in reverse to the Emperor, Aries energy. So it's like your person recently has been in this state of um, maybe sort of like apathy, dejection, not believing in themselves or the, their ability to move things forward here. They, they could have encountered a setback, whether it's in this connection or external to this connection, but they've been a bit low on energy. Now we have things really turning around. We have the star on top of the emperor. So this person is saying they really realize or they're stepping into their full power and they're seeing how much um, influence they have here. They're seeing that they can take back control over themselves and what it is they would like to manifest. Okay, so what's interesting is, is this massive shift. So let me see what's caused this turnaround. Let's have a look. Seven of coins in reverse. So it's possible they were waiting for something outside of themselves to happen. And they've said, you know what? I'm not going to wait anymore. I'm in, in charge of, of my own life and how things move forward. I'm taking things into my own hands. The knight of coins. <laughs> okay. So I think your person was saying, you know what, things are taking forever. Absolutely. Maybe there's communication they want to have with you, or maybe they just want to begin begin a new journey in your connection and in their life that's, that's going to help them to move forward um, and to step into their power. And I think they've been waiting for something to fall into place. And maybe that thing has fallen into place with the star. Maybe it was an idea that needed to, to appear to them that they now have. But I kind of get this sense with the emperor that your person's saying, actually, I think I will create my own fortune here. My, you know, I'm going to take fate into my own hands and try and make something happen for myself. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, so it's time for me to take, to take back my power. So maybe your person's patience has run out. Um, maybe something happened to them to make, to wake them up, to make them realize they've been sitting still or standing still and it's time to, to move themselves forward. Okay, so that's interesting. And um, I'm interested to see in a moment what action they, they're going to take from this but let's just have a look at how you're feeling where are you right now how are you feeling oh two of cups what's this two of swords in reverse so you might be feeling close to this person all over again um especially if you are that queen of swords you got fed up with them you know you've pushed them away you've created some distance because you needed it and maybe you were trying to say to yourself i don't care about them i'm not interested and now you're kind of warming up to them again and you're saying oh you know what i can't lie to myself if this person you know feels like my person um okay so let's see if so that could be with, with the star, why your person's feeling this sense of renewed hope that seems almost to have come out of nowhere. It could be that it's come from you. Okay, so how are you feeling? How many of you are feeling, please, Spirit, about this connection right now? Seven of Cups. Ah, Queen of Swords in reverse. How interesting. So if this is your reading, somebody in this connection, you or your person, um, for a while has been this queen of swords. I think whoever has been in this energy is coming out of it now. Um, but I think it, it, it was almost like um, something happened, an argument and, and someone wasn't happy with what happened or someone needed to go into this energy to pull back for self-protection or to, you know, to have some space or something like that. Um, but this energy is passing. I even see you with the Seven of Cups possibly allowing yourself now to dream again, to hope again, or to imagine potential um, futures with this person. 
judgment in the reverse yes if there was a decision that's been or you felt like it was made it's almost like you're not so sure or the decision um you, you might be questioning the decision you know if you decided forget it i'm walking away i'm i'm not waiting for this anymore or maybe you were saying this person you know they've pushed me too far um it might be that sort of love is winning here you know and you're, you're being I won't say pulled back in. Um, I think initially you may have felt some resistance if, if that's your story. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So it could be that you're saying you're open to a new cycle here, but it, it's got to be substantial. There's got to be more than like a spark of passion, you know, and then the match burns out and that's it. You don't want that again. Yeah, absolutely. Ten of coins. You're here for something serious, something grounded, something solid, something that will last. Okay, what else please and we have the empress in the reverse so maybe like what sort of what was the final straw here is your person either not showing you that they value you not respecting you you know you see them as the emperor maybe you felt like they weren't seeing you as the empress with the empress coming up in the reverse you might have felt like time and time again um this connection would have a start and then it would end and there's so much potential here but it wasn't coming to life um, and that may have been very disappointing for you the empress in reverse well not in reverse but the empress is can be taurus or libra energy here it's almost like against your will you're you're kind of opening up warming up to this person again the good news is they are they are showing up as the emperor in the upright so you know they are um definitely on your level here um you know if, if they can sort of get their act together they can be a worthy counterpart for you if they have shown you in the past that they don't see you as the empress you know that's that's a load of nonsense it's seeing you as the empress that's inspired them to step into their emperor emperor power um to actually take matters into their own hands and, and to stop waiting for the universe to kind of roll things out in front of them sometimes yes we have to wait for divine timing but not all day every day you know we never do anything it's important to take um inspired action as well and that's what your person is seeing okay so before we look at blockages as we're on a roll here in terms of them you know taking power into their own hands let's see what action they might be taking okay we've got an ace of pentacles with the eight of cups yes it's like they know you've pulled back you've gone within a little bit you're certainly in your feelings you're in your thoughts you're thinking things over and they're trying to come after you with an offer here with that ace of pentacles so at least you're on the same page now. They kind of seem to understand that you're not wanting just a spark of passion with no substance. We have the star again. Wow, this person's really feeling um, hopeful, feeling guided towards you. That's very exciting. So your person's saying they're going to put their faith, their trust in the universe, in their gut feelings, in um, you know what their intuition is telling them, or um, putting their faith and trust in those moments where they have these ideas and you know, oh, I should text so and so, I should, um, I should, I don't know, turn up at where they work with a coffee or whatever. It's like they're trying to trust that. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. This is making me feel like your person is thinking outside of the box. They're not limiting themselves to some sort of rigid structure. Um, they're not doing things in the way that maybe other people tell them or in the way that, that society says. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. So this is reciprocity. It's equal give and take. It's balance here. Giving you as much as you have been giving them. Okay, what else? What other action, please? Yeah, Three of Pentacles, exactly. Working together, working as a team. We have the world in the reverse and we have the devil in the reverse. This person is really very aware of what has kept them limited in the past, what has kept them stuck. And they're saying, I'm I'm, I'm not acting. I don't want to act from that low vibrational place anymore. I don't want to act from this devil energy. I want to act as the emperor. If they've been, um, let's say there's been, 
Okay, how can I explain this? This can be cycles with the world. Let's say in the past, your connection has at times been incredibly intense and then very cold and then very intense and very cold. And this person, it's almost like when they're focused on you, they're obsessed with you. And then when they're not talking to you, it's you feel like they've forgotten that you exist. This person's saying they, they want to find more of an even, um, they want to find more balance here. You know, they want to be more consistent in, in how they're showing up. They, you know, they don't want to be like, you know, full on into this in an unhealthy, possibly codependent way, and then, you know, to completely disappear and you don't hear from them for goodness knows how long. It, it's like they want to, to be more balanced and consistent with, with how they show up, how you speak, how you interact as well. Okay, what else, please? So let's go into this um, three of coins. What does this look like? judgment in the reverse wow you both have judgment reversed and you both have the queen of swords in reverse okay we've got the page of pentacles the moon in reverse pisces aries energy again with the fall okay this person is saying they you know we can see they want to have a new beginning here there's definitely some uncertainty you're mirroring one another quite a bit both of you um are saying okay i'm opening up to this again um but it's got to look different this time you're saying you need more from your person they're saying they need and want to give more to you to this connection um and both of you are saying okay what would this look like how might this work but the the intention the feeling the desire is, you seem to be you know you can see the cards we're mirroring here we have the emperor and the empress okay so let me see, are there any obstacles, blockages, fears that your person has? Page of Pentacles in reverse. They might be saying, hmm, what should they give you here? They, it's like they understand what they need to do is, is give more time, um, more, con uh, more consistent effort and communication. But what does that really look like? What, you know, what should they start talking to you about? What should they suggest in terms of spending time with you? It's like with the moon, they have this depth of emotion of feeling um, that they haven't been sharing with you and they kind of want to bring more of this to the surface. The reciprocity could also be in terms of um, expressing what's going on within. You know, I feel this way, it kind of annoyed me when you said this or I'm, I like this thing that we do together or, you know. So just so you kind of get an idea of where you stand with this person, what turns them on, what turns them off, what do they, you know, like, dislike, what do they think is great about you, what would they like to compromise on. Um, you may, with the Seven of Cups, have been trying to figure all of this out from how they've been reacting to you. Okay, fears, blockages, please. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, this person fears that we already have the Seven of Coins. They're, they're, you know, frustrated with how long it's taken, as I'm sure you are in some cases as well. They fear that it's there's still going to be some kind of delay or some kind of wait. It's almost like they fear moving forward and trying to put this effort in now and and it not working out especially after you've both given so much in different ways um, or maybe similar ways in some cases we have the six of wands so yeah this is what they're hoping for success victory okay we have the fall in the reverse we have uh, the Queen of Cups in reverse. So some of them are worried that they took Seven of Coins too long. Six of Wands, that you're off doing things, making yourself happy, that you're, you're not interested anymore. Um, the Fall in reverse, that you won't want a new beginning. And with the Queen of Cups in reverse, that you're no longer going to be nurturing and patient and loving. Okay, what else, please? What other fears does this person have? We have the Magician, Gemini Energy, the Nine of Wands, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse and the world. Yeah, the biggest fear this person has is that they are now stepping up, standing in their power, trying to fight for this and make it work, but that they took way too damn long, you know, in some cases years, and they're worried that you might be saying, I'm oh, sorry, but I've let this go, I've moved on, the world is in, in the upright, it's over, it's done. 
Um, what I actually see for your energy, like I said, if this resonates with you, is that you're reopening to the idea of this connection. But yes, 10 of coins, you're really serious about this. You don't want just some nonsense. You know, you want something that you can really um, feel and see. You want something tangible. So I don't think this person is going to be disappointed in putting in more effort, but yeah, they've definitely got to show up as this emperor. Nothing, um, you know, silly here, no flighty behavior. Um, you need more just straightforward communication. And it's not to say that the communication has to be like, you know, butterflies and rainbows every single time. Sometimes they might need to say what isn't working for them and and well, that's fine. As long as, as long as they tell you, you know, as long as you have a chance to know I think that's kind of all you're asking for, to know where you stand, to know what's going on and to see some effort reciprocated. And also, you know, for them to show you because they do see you as the empress, whether you're a woman or a man, they see you as the perfect counterpart for them, the emperor and the empress. Um, they see how how fruitful this can be, but I don't think they're, they've been behaving in that way necessarily. Okay, so. Let's get some, some of these lovers oracle messages. We have, okay, so the first one. Surrender, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So if your person with that devil card, what I'm kind of guessing is there's some sort of um, behavior or a way of interacting with people that they carried into this connection and it just hasn't been working or there's an old way of doing things that they have to leave behind. In some cases there could be like a, another person, um, something like that, you know, a third party energy, it could be work. Um, but what I get mostly, most strongly, even if there are those other factors, is there something going on within your person? It's like um, a knee jerk reaction, a default behavior. Um, that they've a pattern they've been acting out and it's something to do with this you know if you've got my attention you've got all of my attention i dream about you i think about you while i'm having you know my lunch i'm I, my mind wanders off onto you while i'm at work when i'm driving i'm thinking about you you know you have all of my attention even when you don't know it and then at other times um there's nothing you know they're trying to get away from that okay we have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept one another, each other as you are and accept, my goodness, love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. I can't, you know, magically, maybe not. I think there might, you know, there's there's been work here, that's for sure. Your person's been working on themselves. You've definitely, you know, been working on yourself. Um, but you're, I feel your connection is transforming. At the moment, it feels like it's transforming almost at a distance. You're both warming up to each other again, not really sharing this with each other with each other just yet. Um, but yeah, it's like for you guys, it, this is how I feel. It's like you never wanted this. You know, you never wanted distance. You never wanted to kind of push your person away. You never wanted to have to withdraw or to become cold, or to try and cut them out. But you know, I think you went around cycles with this person many times and you felt like you needed to, whether for good or just to, to have a moment to breathe. Um, but th there's definitely love here. And you're, you're kind of, it's almost like a, maybe a fear of opening up to this these feelings again and trusting because you don't want to get hurt. You don't want to be disappointed again. And that's very understandable. For your person, um, it, I don't think they've ever fully embraced your connection in the past in the way that they are now. You know, they've never fully gone for it in the way that they're gearing up to do now. They may have been on the fence or they may have given a bit and pulled back. Maybe they saw that there were obstacles and they thought, oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready yet. It's like now they're saying, OK, you know, let me put on all my um, my armor and let me go to war for this. I'm going to make this happen. I, I have decided I have made this commitment in my mind. So, um, yeah, that's it's, it's not magically transforming, to be honest. I think to say that would almost undermine everything you've both been through and, and um, how you've both grown and had to pull through. But it is transforming. OK, so let's finish up with some of these archangel messages. Okay, we 
have you, our safe, Archangel Michael. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. So if you've been feeling a bit vulnerable, like I was saying, um, you can ask Archangel Michael to protect your, you know, your heart space, to help you to see the truth of things clearly, so you can really be confident in who you're placing your trust in and, and in trusting this connection moving forward. We have Hello from Heaven, Archangel Azrael, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So you might have ancestors here, um, from you know way back when recent ancestors or loved ones maybe someone who has recently passed over who might be saying hello i'm here for you um wanting to connect with you I'm, I'm always happy to connect with you if you need me just you know let me know we have remember who you are archangel michael again you are a powerful loving and creative child of god you are very loved so another way of saying you're being watched over you're being protected all of these cards actually are, are kind of suggesting the same thing so um yeah you're you're getting a lot of strength right now from your spiritual team if you're not it's here for you to tap into if you if you want to invite them in to kind of um you know to, to ask them for healing support energy whatever really whatever you're looking for whatever you need this feels like a reminder that you have that support there if you want it okay so i will leave this here for today so if you are heading off thank you so much for watching i feel that i will do an extended today and i'm going to look a bit more into is it safe to open up is it safe to trust this connection i feel intuitively that the answer here is yes but there there is a if that the energy of fear is resonating with you you know um i feel like quite strongly that you you may have been hurt very badly or you know hurt over and over and over so i'm going to look into that for those of you that that resonates with and who would like some more information around that um otherwise i will do the one question one card reading now so thank you for everyone who left a question i also want to say um i have on uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> under the community tab on my page here on youtube i have asked you what you'd like to see for the bonus reading so thank you to everyone who's been leaving comments also if you see someone has left a suggestion a suggestion that you really like if you leave a like under that then i get to see you know how much interest there is in that particular question so thank you for doing that as well um yeah and i think that's everything for today so let's do the one question one card Okay, so today's winner is Jessica, who would like to know, is there anything to be concerned about regarding your boyfriend's ex? Okay, so Spirit, does Jessica have anything to worry about regarding her boyfriend's ex? Please show us, does Jessica have anything to worry about regarding her boyfriend's ex? Okay of cups hmm, interesting hanged man in reverse ten of swords three of swords in reverse will of fortune in reverse seven of swords okay it looks to me like your boyfriend's ex isn't over your boyfriend that um she would like a new beginning here with him um i know you meant you gave me some detail around the question i think she reached out to you and apologized for creating some drama um i do feel she was honest she was sincere because look in this four of cups see how there's a sword to me that looks it, it looks a lot like and represents the ace of swords so the truth is she it's almost like she knows she shouldn't be doing what she's doing trying to stir things up but at the same time she seems to maybe still love your boyfriend so her ex um and that's kind of keeping her attached and stuck when maybe she needs to move on tell me about the seven of swords please knight of swords okay so i think she might continue to create a little bit of drama she might keep popping up um, for now you know in um and saying some annoying things some triggering things the knight of swords is immature and he comes in and out very quickly so i would say you have nothing to worry about in a long-term sense in a serious sense and if your relationship with your boyfriend is secure it's fine um but that it's almost like she's acting out a bit like a toddler who's sort of having a tantrum except 
it's because she has these feelings of love and she seems to be aware enough at least that it's not healthy it's not good for anyone involved so my hope would be that she would eventually just you know get it out of her system and move on but I would say um the only thing to worry about might be um her saying some things maybe that might not be very nice or a little bit blunt um I mean, the good thing about this is you see it coming. It's not like you're going to get stabbed in the back, you know. Um, so there's there's nothing going on here that you won't know about. As in, I don't think she's going to be writing to your boyfriend secretly saying things. If she writes to him, he will probably tell you or she's going to write to you or to the both of you. You know, that kind of a thing. Um, yeah, I think she's, she's definitely wounded three of uh, swords in reverse with the four of cups. And I think she wants a new beginning with him. But it's like at the same time, she also is kind of sick with herself for behaving this way. Like she would want to just move on. Let me have a look at the um, the Wheel of Fortune here in the reverse. Okay, that's way too much. But yeah, I think when she reached out to you um, to apologise, she it was sincere. She meant it. And that's why when she comes back around and starts creating more drama, she's kind of annoyed with herself. Yeah, see, three of cups. It's all, it's almost like she's trying to make herself the third person in your relationship. Um, and you know, the three of cups is an energy of being happy. This is, this is odd. Um, I don't want to go further into this because I think it's, it's going to get weirder the more we go. But I kind of see, it's like she doesn't hate you. <sighs> She might even quite like you, but she does what seem to want a new beginning with your boyfriend. Um, yeah, it, I don't know. I mean, I think what would make her happy is some kind of unconventional situation in which um, the three of you are like sort of hanging out and close look I don't know and I'm not going to go there because that obviously is not going to work for you anyway so but just to um, what I'm trying to say is it, it's not 100% done in a, in a, like a malicious way you know um but yeah I won't repeat myself but what I will say is I think she might be back um but it doesn't seem to be anything to worry about even if what she's doing and saying might be a, be a bit triggering in the moment I think it will quickly um subside Okay, so I hope that helps a bit. Okay, so I will leave it here. Thank you, everyone. Take care. And um, if you're heading over to Vimeo with me, I'll see you there. But otherwise, thank you and, and hopefully see you again. Bye.